so you've never tried watercolor before and you have no idea what to use, how to start and all the things. Well, I'm here to answer that question because I know that number one, you don't wanna waste your money and number two, you certainly don't wanna waste your time because you're not sure if you're gonna like this, but you are gonna like watercolor, I just know you are. And number three, you wanna have a strong start. Like you wanna get the stuff that won't break the bank that will also make you feel really empowered, right? And that's what I'm here for and that's what today is all about. But I, I promise you, I do, I do. You're gonna love watercolor. You are, because you're here. All right, let's go. I'm gonna be honest with you here, friends. The most important supply that you need to pick up in your watercolor beginner, beginners, whatever you wanna call it, journey, is your paper. And this particular paper is my absolute favorite for beginners. And I will put in the little caveat, beginners in the US most likely. I've gotten a lot of feedback that this paper isn't nearly as affordable outside of the US. So there is that caveat. This is Academy watercolor paper. Um, this brand, there's also um, another option. This is like the student grade of this brand's watercolor paper, I believe. And the other option, which is the more professional, and it is this brand right here. If you can read it, let me just right right here bow hong totally horrible can't pronounce this but um, there is a professional version by this brand as well this is the student version this is the student version and it is fan flipping tastic it is comparable in my humble opinion to artistico from fabriano and it is also so comparable to arches as well, which is like creme de la creme or arch. Um, I just can't say it that way. I know I'm being totally American and not classy, but I don't care. Arches is just known by so many to be the creme de la creme. And let me tell you what, what this Academy watercolor paper um, is fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up on screen kind of the price comparison, the US. Um, so you can kind of see the realities of the affordability of this paper. So friends, do yourself a favor and you might balk at the price even though this is kind of an affordable paper, um, but just know that this paper is gonna give you as much success as humanly possible as a beginner, as someone who's never painted before or who has not painted in a very, very long time. This paper is going to make it so that you are as successful as possible and that your first, you know, moments and days and weeks and months of experimentations feel satisfying, right? And the reason is it's 100% cotton. You want that 100% cotton content, um, ideally so that your paper stays wet longer and really responds beautifully to everything that you put on the page. And honestly, what's not as important, and in my opinion, the least important is your palette, your paint, right? Now, this is my Art for Joy's Sake watercolor palette. Of course, I am biased. I'm gonna tell you full stop, I am biased, but I did design this palette for beginners. Because let me tell you what, friends, as a beginner, I want you to have luscious colors that do beautiful things, and I want you to have the most compact kind of presentation the most inspiring visual presentation so that you look forward to painting and having this lovely supply on your desk. And I also want you to have quality. And last but not least with this palette for beginners, I wanted you to understand and experience all the various personalities of watercolor. Cause that's right, there isn't just one. There's sheer watercolor friends. There's opaque watercolor. There's semi-opaque. There's watercolors that granulate. There's so many different personalities of watercolor. And this little baby palette is a powerhouse. And so while I may be biased, indeed I am biased because I designed her. Um, I highly recommend um, a smaller footprint palette so that you're not overwhelmed with too many colors but a palette that also goes beyond just the basics of mixing 
that gives you some convenience colors like these creamy pinks and peaches. Give yourself some convenience. Those are my recommendations for your first palette. And certainly there are many options out there that are just lovely. I have another video I'm gonna link below that talks all about some amazing palettes available on Amazon um, that have that are bigger palettes, that are, are more affordable than this palette. I have my heartbeats for this palette for many reasons, but I am gonna show you some other options that I think are just fantastic as well. All right, friends, last but not least, and it's kind of secondary in terms of importance, but it's a very, very, very close second. And that, my friends, is your brush. There are two brushes that I think are standouts. I'm gonna start with my number one standout brush, and I am kind of an outlier here on the watercolor YouTubes uh, because I believe so heavily in the dagger brush. I call this quarter inch dagger the queen bee of all brushes because of this reason. There's actually a few reasons. It comes to a beautiful crisp point. It has the most gorgeous curved outer edge, it has the curved inner edge and the long straight outer edge. It holds a ton of pigment down here in the main width of the belly. It holds a ton of pigment from here to here, but you can also get those super duper gorgeous fine lines. So if you're gonna have one brush, let it be this type of dagger brush. Now, of course, I designed this brush. It is a synthetic bristle brush. It has a nice spring. It has a slight stiffness to it. A lot of brushes out there are either a synthetic and uh, natural bristle hybrid, and they are softer, and it's, it's a little overwhelming for beginners. Um, and so I do recommend, of course, here we go with the biases again, my Art for Joyce a quarter inch dagger, but any dagger will um, pack a lot of punch for you. Just make sure that it is um, a stiffer bristle, shorter bristle dagger, and not one of those long crazy daggers because they are hard to control, especially for beginners. So there we have it. You don't want to skimp on the paper. Paint is kind of the last or least most important element, um, but can certainly make for a really exciting journey starting out if you pick the right palette. And second, and a very close second to paper is that brush. And of course, I'm a little biased and I recommend this dagger brush. So friends, I am so glad you've been here. And what I hope for you next is for you to grab what you have. And this, I know, may sound strange, um, towards the end of a here's what to buy for your beginner supply journey. But I do think the most important supply that you can have in this beginner journey, honestly, is just a willingness to dive in today right now with what you have. Let me explain. Maybe your kids have a little Crayola palette stashed away with that crummy little brush that comes with it that doesn't come to a point. If that's what you have in your house right now and you're feeling the itch to paint, grab it use it. Maybe you only have an old phone book or some extra lunch bags and that's all you have to paint on. Grab them, paint with them if that's what you have today. Because our worst enemy in this watercolor journey, whether we're beginners or otherwise, is the excuse, the reason to always put it off another day. And we all have them, me including. And I've been painting for well over 30 years, like since I was really young. And I still easily find reasons not to paint. So let that be my wish for you. That you find the gumption and the courage and the bravery to use what you have, use what you love that's already in your home, and then make a little bit of time very soon to pick up all the fun new stuff that's going to take the exciting moments of brush strokes on the page to the next level. And I want you to watch this video next. It is a watercolor mastermind designed specifically for beginners. It's perfect for you right now. Just watch it. Don't paint with me first and foremost. Just watch and soak it in and let's have fun. But soon there'll be a lot of happy painting for you.